يا مساء الفل والهنا النهارده معادنا مع شخصيه لطيفه جدا ميزه من ميزات المسلسلات الطويله انك انت بتعاشر نجوم هؤلاء المسلسلات لما يطولوا معاك ويبقوا جزء من حياتك اليوميه يعني على مدى مثلا سنين طويله عاشرنا مسلسلات زي ليالي الحلميه زي رأفة الهجان زي نوتس لاندنج زي بولد اند بيوتيفول زي حريم السلطان مسلسلات كتير عشنا معاها وبالذات لما عدد الحلقات يكتر قوي تحس انك انت عارف الناس دول كويس قوي ونفسك تشوفهم على الحقيقه لما ذكرنا بقى حريم السلطان افتكرنا اننا ممكن يعني نبقى متشوقين قوي وعندنا فضول جامد نشوف واحده من ابطال حريم السلطان عشنا معاها يعني سنين وعدد حلقات كبير والناس حبتها جدا والمسلسل ده اتزع في أربعين دولة بكل الاستمرارية بتاعته دي فلما عرفنا ان مريم جاية مصر اللي هي عمل الدور هيام او هروم مريم اوزيرلي نجمة محبوبة جدا والناس مستنياها جدا حبينا من بكل الفضول اللي جوانا نقرب من النجمة دي ونشوفها على الطبيعة شكلها ايه لاننا شفناها سنين في دور والناس عندها فعلا اشتياق تشوفها فقلنا النهاردة اننا حنستضيف واحدة ضيفة لطيفة جميلة حلت على بيوتنا عدد كبير جدا من المرات نقرب منها نشوف شخصيتها نشوفها بتفكر في ايه مع الطبيعة لذيذة ولا لا يعني قلنا نعمل كده حالة من الفضول نحقق الفضول اللي جوانا لما بيبقى نجم كبير وقعد فترة طويلة موجود في حياتنا تعالوا نشوف مريم أوزيرلي هتقول ايه سهل نتكلم عن مواطن عادي سهل حتى نتكلم عن بيك أو باشا أو هانم من بتوع زمان لكن سلطانة مرة واحدة سلطانة مرة واحدة صعبة شويتين دي مريم أوزيرلي الشهيرة بعظمة السلطانة هيام جميلة من جميلات الحواديت اللي جاية بخلطة فريدة من نوعها خلطة فيها روح الشر وشغفه وأحاسيسه وجمال الغرب وإبهاره وأنقته من أب تركي وأم من أصول ألمانية جت للدنيا الجميلة مريم أوزرلي موهوبة من طفولتها عشقة للفن والحياة ورغم أنه مش دورها الوحيد لكن الأهم في مسيرتها فكتير مننا عرفوا السلطانة هيام وأكتر حبوها واحتاروا في ذكائها ومكرها والأكيد جمالها لكن مريم بقى إيه حكايتها؟ احنا طبعا دلوقتي معانا الضيفه بتاعتنا اسمحوا لي ان انا هكلمها بالانجليزي و... وترجم بالعربي وما بحس اني مش متخصصه قوي في اي حاجه تقع منا سامحونا وهنبقى نكتبها لكم على الشاشه يعني فالاو مي ناو تو ويلكم يو مريم اوزيرلي ذا فيري فيموس اند بيوتيفول ستار ذات هاز بين لافد باي maybe all the Arabs and especially the Egyptians as long as we're here in Egypt and allow me to welcome you to the plateau or the studio of Sahibat al-Sa'ad رحبت بها يعني بالبلدي okay okay thank you thank you I'm very very happy to be here this is your first time to Cairo my first time in Egypt my first time in Cairo but I love it I love it how long have you been here um we landed two days ago uh -huh. and we will stay till monday so another two days actually a very short visit maybe. i know i know but my daughter is waiting in berlin as uh -huh. i'm living in berlin uh -huh. germany uh -huh. so she's uh, she's uh, waiting there for me a beautiful baby a yeah. beautiful little girl young lady now yeah, yeah. thank you now احنا رحبنا طبعا بالست مريم اوزيرلي or Ozirli, which, which is the better it's pronunciation? It's like, you know, the, the Germans are saying Utsali. 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 Oh. It's like from Switzerland. And I'm saying, no, it's not from Switzerland. Okay, fine. But, uh, um, and in America, they are saying Userli. userli. You, oh. And uh, you can say Uzerli, whatever Uzerli. you like. Uzerli, okay. Uzerli is it's more okay close anyway. to, to the way we pronounce <laughs> the name. Yeah. 
طيب انا رحبت بيها وهي في مصر بقى لها يومين وهتقعد يومين واول مره تزور مصر ولازم ترجع المانيا علشان بنتها الجميله سو هاو اولد از شي؟ شيز بيكامينج 5 ان فبراري 2019 بيوتيفول Beautiful yeah. little baby. She's a little diva actually, but um, sweet as well. Yeah, I saw a <laughs> I video. I need to say that. I need to say that. Of course, every mom has to say yeah, that. Yeah, you yeah, have yeah, the yeah. right to say that. Yeah, I'm sweating like crazy actually. But <laughs> 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 yeah, but I'm trying to handle it very calmly, you know. <laughs> uh, I saw a video on YouTube for you and her laugh, ah. going into a, a long laugh together. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were this sitting is... in bed or something and yeah, you started yeah, yeah, laughing. Yeah, this is in our blood, actually, in our, <laughs> our family. Mm. Sometimes the five minutes are coming and then we are going crazy, you know, and <laughs> nobody can help us. I told her she was married for five years. و وبيجي لهم كريزات ضحك كده بتقول لك بيجري في دمهم في العيله ان هم يجي لهم انفجارات ضحك و they laugh and laugh and laugh كده <تصفيق> عايزه اقول لكم كمان ان كان ممكن قوي نجيب مترجم وهي تتكلم وحد يقول بصوتها يعني لكن اجمع الجميع بما فيهم اللي في داخل هذا البلاتو او خارجه ان عايزين نسمع صوتها عايزين نشوفها هي بتتكلم ازاي واستحملوا ترجمتي بقى ده اللي موجود يعني اي حاجه هتقع بقول لكم هتكتبها اون ذا سكرين ام تيلينج ذيم ذات I think you understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can feel it. I can, yeah, I can feel, feel it. that. I I'm can feel it really with uh, all of my heart. Yeah. <laughs> giving them Or, the chance to hear your yeah, voice, yeah. watch you. And I would love to speak in Arabic. I would love and I apologize um, in front of everybody, but, but I can't speak Arabic. You will, my darling. I hope. Inshallah. Yes, you inshallah. Will, I would inshallah. love. Inshallah. Okay, but you know some words. Anna is me, Maryam. Okay. Um, Women in. From where? Men. In in Germany. Aywa. Aywa. Mesh, mesh. If if somebody is talking on the phone, always mesh, mesh. Mesh. Mesh, mesh, mesh. I wouldn't like it to. This is me. It means like okay, very. Oh, okay. Yeah, but that's beautiful. It's good to know. Okay. Yeah, you can say Taib, Hader, okay. Okay is is used also. Mashi is a little bit uh, local. Ah, not really? everybody uses okay. Oh, then yeah. my surrounding was not very good. Okay. But anyway, now about, now about you that. won't <laughs> leave this studio before you have learned a big uh, yani, junk of. Uh, so of, we are uh, sitting here till tom tomorrow morning. <laughs> all the time. Oh especially what will happen. Especially yeah. what will happen the next segment. Okay. Okay. Now, yeah. people are very much used Now. People are very much used to the way you looked in Harim al-Sultan. Of, of course, her, of, of course. course. Yeah, yeah, I can understand that. And when you showed in the uh, last Cannes Festival, mm -hmm. everybody was commenting that you lost weight and you look much, not uh, prettier, yes, but a bit different from the way you looked mm -hmm. in Harim al-Sultan. Yeah. And people started to... Uh, gossip, uh, saying, yeah. ah, she had mm. cosmetic uh, surgeries and whatever. <laughs> and she, yeah. she planted the nose and she took off the cheeks and she whatever. Oh, they... my God. Oh, my God. And my ears are not uh, <laughs> here anymore. And, you know, <laughs> I put my feet to, to my arm and whatever. Yeah, how... <laughs> <laughs> whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, my ears are still here. My feet is there. My hands are here. My nose is always like that. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. You only lost weight. You, th you know, the thing is that um, I was always like that, mm. always. Mm. But during the show, Harim al-Sultan, mm. um, I uh, gained a lot of weight. 
Why? Because I stopped smoking at that time. Oh. And also I was working day, night, day, night, mm. day, night, day, night. I can continue that till the morning as well. Day, night, day, night. I know, but day, night, you know? day, night means that you lose weight. I was weight. working, no, I was, I was working a lot. And when I'm, you know, if you, if you can't sleep enough or mm. if you are always working, mm. then I have a chocolate bar here and oh. a chocolate bar there. Oh, and, oh then you know, you mm. need some, some food for your nerves. Uh. And I didn't smoke at that time, what mm. is actually a good thing, <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh. You know, طيب let me let me say this okay yeah. قلت لها ان انت دلوقتي شكلك ارفع من الاول وانك انت ظهرتي في مهرجان كان السنه اللي فاتت فالناس ابتدت ترغي بقى وتعلق وتقول دي خست ومش عارف ايه وعملت تجميل وشدت ايه وعوجت ايه فقالت لي اه وقالوا ان انا شلت وداني ورجليا بقت في كتافي بتتريق طبعا <تصفيق> بس الحمد لله انا عملتش حاجه رجليا مكانها وايديا مكانها وودانها مكانها وانه هي لما كانت بتشتغل حريم السلطان عشان بتشتغل كتير قوي كانت موقفه تدخين فتخنت من كتر الشغل والنابع عماله بقت تعمل زي ما احنا بنعمل تاكل حاجات كتير في النص تملى فتخنت لكن هي يعني عاده ان هو ده الفيجر بتاعها وهو ده شكلها يس سو يا سي يا يا Okay. Perfect. Now I understood actually more uh, than the, 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 the one before. Uh -huh. I can feel it better now yeah. when you are translating it. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. It's great. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to ask you about, because I'm, we are all here very much concerned in drama and how they mm -hmm. shoot and mm -hmm. yani very much interesting to us to know. Uh, The nature of shooting Harim al-Sultan, mm -hmm. uh, how long did it take you? How, first of all, how were you chosen for the part? The thing is, I was um, playing theater in Germany mm. for 10 years after my acting education. Mm. I was in different theaters and touring around with different plays. Mm. And um, then there was a colleague. Mm. She was um, Turkish. Mm. And... Um, She was talking to the producer in Istanbul. Uh -huh. But at that time, I, 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 I was born and raised in Germany. Mm. My mother is German. Mm. Uh, I didn't even talk in, in Turkish, you know? I didn't mm. even know what left or right means in oh. Turkish. Mm. And then uh, she was in Istanbul by coincidence, my colleague from the theater play from years ago. Mm. And she heard that they are searching for the main character for, for Harim, Harim El Sultan. Yes. And um, then she said, yeah, that's actually very funny because I know a very good actress I played with in a theater uh -huh. years ago. Mm. She would fit for that character perfectly. Mm. And then uh, she showed my uh, show reel and mm. showed some things in the internet, you know, and they invited me to the audition. Mm. And then they did the audition for four days and I was like, oh, oh my God, this is not stopping. Audition for one, four days? Day two, oh. day three, day four, and I was like, okay. And they just bought me the ticket to come to Istanbul, not the oh. return ticket. And I was scared, oh, you, know? Don't you, know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because there was no, no ticket to go back. Oh, and I oh. was like asking, is it possible to go back to Germany, actually? You know, <laughs> you want to <laughs> do an audition the whole year? I don't know, but sorry. <laughs> okay, let me uh, do yeah. this part. Yeah. Yeah. She was, of course, born in Germany and born in Germany, and she didn't speak Turkish, probably. ودرست في الجامعه في المانيا واشتغلت مسرح كتير لمده 10 سنين وكان معاها زميله تركيه فهي لفوا بقى بالمسرح يعني اشتغلوا كذا حاجه فالزميله التركيه دي راحت اسطنبول ولقيتهم بيعملوا كاستنج لحريم السلطان فقالت لهم بعرف واحده ممثله كويسه قوي في المانيا كانت زميلتي بعتوا لها تذكره ذهاب فقط نو ريتيرن و... <تصفيق> <تصفيق> والاول عملت الشوريل بتاعها وبقى وسكايب وكلام في التلفزيونات ومش عارفه ايه وبعدين راحت المفروض الاوديشن ده يعني بيبقى مره الواحد يقعد المخرج زي ما احنا شفنا مئات المرات مع النجوم اللي استضفناها اوديشن هي قعدت اربع ايام تعمل اوديشن وعماله تقول لهم في مروح يعني كان اي جو باك سام داي دونت تيل مي وين بت تيل مي بوسيبل يا Exactly like that, exactly like that. Mm. Scary. <laughs> What's going on? And mm. I had no idea mm. about uh, the Turkish film industry, mm. about because I was always working in Germany, you know, as I was born and raised there. Mm. So yeah. as my mother's German, I didn't even talk in Turkish, you know, mm. everything was new for me. Mm. And um, 
yeah, it was it was a, a weird beginning, but uh, thanks God it it it, it happened mm. because what a powerful character for yes. an actress to play. Do you think this was one of the reasons they chose you, is that your Turkish is not fluent? They needed somebody the who is, is not mm -hmm. speaking fluent? The thing fluent. is, they were, they were searching for, um, for an actress actually in Turkey, mm. but then they didn't find, and then they searched for an actress in Russia, mm. as the no. character is original from Ukraine, Russia, yeah. in some historical books it's from Russia, in some historical books it's from Ukraine. Yeah, yeah. Ukraine. Mm. And um, of course, they wanted something um, very natural, you know, with an accent, mm. with um, not the biggest awareness about the language. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I don't know why they 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 chose me. Actually, it seems that they. I'm just have... happy that chose me. Yeah, yeah, and it <laughs> was a good decision. three years. Thank you very much. Because three years, I could scream my inner self out, you know, all my emotions, oh, oh, you know, oh. because. Uh, do you know why I be, be became an actress? Mm. Because when I was little, I was telling my mom, there are so much emotions inside of me. Mm. The daily life is not enough. Mm. You know? Mm. That's why, you know? And this character was um, helping me to put everything out, mm. like the anger, mm. the romance, the softness, and then like, ah. Oh. Mm. And then the rah, you know, this. Yeah, and also <laughs> the, 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 the dance. <laughs> Oh my God, I can't dance. But but it's good that you can cut shows, you know? Yeah. It's not live. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you would see that dance scene live, oh my God. شوفوا يا سيدي. بقول لها بقول لها هم اختاروكي انه هي ما بتتكلمش تركي كويس. فقالت لي ايوه لانه طبعا هي اسمها ايه هيام او هروم اللي هي البطله دي كانت اصلا من اصول روسيه. اوكرانيه روسيه يعني فالشخصيه نفسها فكانوا محتاجين حد ما بيتكلمش تركي مظبوط خواجه يعني مكسر وبالتالي اشتغلت الدور ده وبتقول كمان انه هي لقيتها فرصه عظيمه ان هي تمثل وتطلع كل الطاقه اللي جواها لانه هي صغيره كانت بتقول لمامتها انا عندي جوايا مشاعر كتيره قوي مش عارفه اطلعها فاما مثلت الدور ده قدرت تعبر عن مشاعر كتيره ما عندهاش الفرصه تطلعها في الحياه الزعل والغضب والحاجات اللي هي اللي انت دي واللذاذه يعني 3 years 3 years 3 years 3 seasons 3 years yeah you exactly. were shooting while airing the thing is we were starting to shoot and then we had the three episodes in the pocket mm. Um, and then we started to air it, you know? Mm. And then uh, actually during the working process, oh. it's um, normally what I found out at that time that mm. sometimes we were shooting, actually 90% it was like that, that we were, we were shooting till Sunday or Monday and mm. it was going on air on Wednesday. Mm. So of course, a lot of pressure, a lot mm. of work. Mm. But uh, we had a great team, I have to say. All mm. the actors, all the actresses. Mm. No ego people, that's mm. very important. Mm. Because um, you are mm. sitting in the same boat, you are creating something. And um, I guess that the audience felt that because we were, we were a great team, you know? The mm. energy was always up and mm. we helped each other. There mm. were no ego place or something mm. you know mm. we were we were like a family we helped each other out in any situation even mm. when we were tired or somebody forgot uh, his lines or whatever mm. we were we were a team mm. and that's uh, this that's is the key of success anywhere totally anywhere. i agree mm. totally because i experienced it mm. uh, the first time in my life like that because uh, in my theater times or sometimes when i was um, shooting a series or a movie in germany 
it was uh, different and sometimes um, um, after um, Harim El Sultan it was different as well. It mm. was really a big gift to be in that project mm. in any kind of term. Okay. I'll tell you that when you were looking at it, you were looking at it for a long time. You were looking at it for a long time. That's why I think it's a problem that we're going to have. So I said, okay, we were in the last three episodes. خلي بالكم الحلقه ساعه ونص عندهم ثلاث افلام يعني فكانوا بيبقوا مضغوطين جدا جدا وبيذيعوا بيصوروا حد واثنين ويذيعوا اربع فبالتالي لولا انه التيم كان مضرابط ومحدش فيهم عنده آه الايجو بتاعته مش عارف مش ورمان يعني مش منفوخ مش شايف نفسه حاجه فكلهم بيشتغلوا مع بعض بيساعدوا بعض فكروا بعض وانه هي شايفه ان هي دي قيمه الحقيقيه انه العمل ده طلع بالشكل ده اه يو ديت سيم ثينج I feel a sense of guilt. يعني I feel guilty. Oh. Yes, I'm sorry to tell you that. What did you do? I, I will tell you now. I will confess. Uh, I feel that I, 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 uh, I, uh, يعني let you speak for a long time. We have been exhausting you during coming and wearing makeup and so and so, and we haven't uh, presented anything to you. So our habit is, uh, you know, that Egyptians are very hospitable. Oh, I saw that the last two days. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I wouldn't want you to think otherwise uh, regarding Sahabat al Saada, so I will mm -hmm. have to host you, be yeah. hospitable to you. Yeah. Uh, let's see what will happen next segment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you understand anything of this? I understand the rice part. Mm -hmm. And also the, the leaves with the, you know, the... The veal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And oh. I can see some uh, soup as well. Mm -hmm. Also, I can see some meat. Yes. And some spinachio. Not spinach, spinach, but let me... Something like okay, that. I, will... I can see a lot of beautiful food. I hope so. And I'm just waiting for you. Go. Okay. I will tell them what happened first. And then I can eat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no problem. طيب انا كنت بقول لها انه انا حاسه ان انا تعبتها والست جايه من الصبح وعامله شعرها مش عارفه ايه وقاعدين بنظبط نور وكده وما كنتش لحقت لسه اقوم بواجب الضيافه. وحس ان احنا مصريين الضيافه عندنا امر واجب فاحنا بنقدم دايما المطبخ بتاعنا في معظم حلقاتنا. وهي هبيانه وهفتانه وعايزه تاكل ف I'm saying that you're starving now and you're yeah. waiting any minute to yeah. start yeah. so فهنجيب فجبنا لها most of the oriental egyptian food يعني جبنا لها معظم الحاجات المصري قوي اللي ما تتشافش بره واحنا كنا فاكرين انها لها علاقه قوي بتركيا ك حتى نشأة ولا بتاع ملهاش دعوة خالص فهي ألمانية تأكل الطعام الألماني وليست على علم خالص بالتركي فالحمد لله إن إحنا إيه هنلعب في الفراغ لوحدنا ناو مريم إز جلوتين إز أجينست جلوتين يعني هي بتاكل أكل آه يعني عندها حساسية من الجلوتين وبالتالي هي لازم تاكل أكل جلوتين فري الجلوتين ده هو حوالي 80% من المادة المكونة للقمح وبالتالي لا تأكل أي شيء في قمح بما في ذلك طبعا العيش والحاجات دي مم. ففرصه انها تغمز ودن قطه من الملوخيه فاتت علينا الحقيقه اوكي ناو ذس از بينز بيرفكت وي كول ات فول مدمس فول مدمس فول مدمس فول مدمس ناو ذس از ا فيري جود شانس فور يو تو ليرن عربيك برافو بيكوز 80% اوف اور لانجويج از فود I love that language. I told This is you. my language, actually. I told you. Yeah. I told you. Yeah. You so, felt me. You felt me. Uh, excuse my sight because maybe I don't know what's in the <laughs> yeah, and far dishes, but full medamis. Full medamis. This is not spinach. It looks like. No? This is a green leaf that is called molukhia. Molukhia. 
and we cook it in a very uh, particular way. Only Egyptians do it this way. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, you know, cut it into very small, very, very Pieces, tiny, like small, like grand kada. And then we cook it in the soup of whatever is cooked, like chicken or something. Yeah. And then we add to it at the end um, uh, fried, uh, uh, fried uh, garlic in, in oil or in butter. Mm -hmm. And it should make tish. Ah, when you add it at the and end, then, then you know it's still it's very, very, very hot. And you add it, and it makes a tish. Yeah, yeah. Usually, when we make this tish, we say, <gasps> Keda. That's a. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's it. I'm trying to be in the mood. Time. Yeah, yeah. This is called <laughs> fatta. 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 Bilkhal with tom. Mm -hmm. Aywa. Fatta. Uh, fat, say it again. Fatta. And what is In a bit of water is coming out of my mouth. You are, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I am trying to tease your hunger. Yeah, yeah, thank you. This thank is you. called mumbar. Called mumbar. Mm -hmm. It's the <laughs> masarin. I don't know any masarin in English. It's the inside of the lamb, the, the cologne and the things like inside the uh -huh. we all we, we, we wash it very well and we treat it very, very carefully until it smells like Allah very good. Then we stuff it with rice and boil it and then <laughs> fry it. <laughs> la, la, unbelievable. This is my favorite. Mumbar. Say mumbar. Mumbar. Oh, uh -huh. Mumbar. Yeah. G. <laughs> D. Very hard uh, mission. Okay. This is called kersha. Kersha. Kersha is something that is inside the lambs. Yeah. Fein, uh, I don't know. Maybe the fish, the I don't know where it is. I don't know which part of the lamb this is. But we <laughs> cut it and we clean it very nice. And then sometimes we fry it. Sometimes we do it with different sauces. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like that. Okay. This <laughs> is sausages. <laughs> oh, that's 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 funny. Ah. This is like this and that and inside and outside and whatever ah. sausages. Sausages. Great. Colors. <laughs> this is another kind of beans. Yeah. That is cooked in a very different way. We put it, we boil it, and then we make it very mushy, and then we mix it with many vegetables. I love that because then, you know, it's a lot of passion inside of it. Yes. Doing food, and you know. Ah, Egyptians are it's, it's, fascinated by yeah, food. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Because it's a pleasure. Yeah, yeah. God gave us a kind of pleasure that we yeah. really appreciate. Yeah. Yeah. This is stuffed vegetables. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I can see that. Uh, like the paprika and... Uh, green onions, courgette, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. with uh, tomatoes, and we make rice in... We mix yeah, yeah, rice yeah. with some vegetables, mm -hmm. cook it, and then we put it... Uh, yeah. Stuff the... the خلاص. This is, Do you this eat is it called with the yogurt sometimes? Like with yogurt? First, this is called basara, this one. Ah, bas basara. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is mahshi. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I think the Turkish people call it dolma, but it's usually stuffed with meat. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you've tasted this. Yeah, you must yeah. have tasted dolma. this. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. A kind of, a mod yeah, another yeah. model, yeah. Sure. Now, I want you to say basara. Basara. Sefarat eh basara. 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 Sefara means embassy. Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> basara. Basara. Mahshi. Mahshi. Hello, awa awa awa. Hello, awa awa. Kibda skandarani. Kibda skandarani. Kibda. Kibda. Skandarani. Skandarani. Okay. Ah. Kishk. Kishk. Kibda skandarani is liver. Aha. Uh -huh. Cooked with onions and sauce and tomato paste and tomato crushed. And it's like a dance. Red, uh, Dancing uh, in the kitchen. Uh, many uh, flavors. Uh, wow, beautiful. Kishk is um, something that we cook with the soup of whatever mm -hmm. you have, a chicken or something. Yeah. And then you add to it uh, yogurt and some milk and some... And it becomes like this, uh, like so, sort of a pudding somehow. And you add yeah, to it... Yeah, it, it looks like a pudding actually. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's nothing delicious. sweet, right? No, 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 no. Ah, okay. 
yeah. soup of the chicken. Soup of the chicken, yeah. And mm -hmm. you add to it fried onions on the top, on the face. Mm -hmm. Okay. Beautiful. وبعدين الله ده صلية بتلف في حلو اللي The carousel is اه الله Chinese Okay this is soup Yeah Ordinary soup mm -hmm. With I think that it has something maybe you don't know anywhere That is called <laughs> <laughs> Ah this is كوارع Okay this is كوارع Ah كوارع is the feet of the uh, of the of some, not the lambs, the cows. The cows. <laughs> I understood. The feet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very delicious. Wow. Don't look at me like that. No, I'm Please totally... don't shock me. Kawara. No, I'm not shocked. I'm totally calm right it's now. It's very... I'm, I'm, I, I want to try that first of all. <laughs> mm. And it's full of gelatin, come on. It's very healthy and doesn't make anybody fat, this kawara. Ah, yeah, yeah. Then we, let's try it. <laughs> this is ta'amiya. <laughs> ta'amiya. Ta'amiya. Ta'amiya is the uh, twin of the fool. Ah, they're twins. The fool rafin. Oh, fool. Okay. Why? Because it's the same kind of bean. Mm -hmm. This is, we cook it in a, in, a, in, a, in a way, and this we cook it in another way. We crush it, and then we add to it vegetables, and we mm -hmm. make it like this, and we fry it in deep fry, and you eat it. It usually goes in the morning, in breakfast, this and the fool, they go together. Oh, wow. Uh, they, yeah, in, in a sandwich, you mean? Like in uh, a no, you can eat them anyhow in a ah, sandwich. Ah, like a right? hamburger, like you, you know, like a no, burger. No, not necessarily, because ah, people okay. like to eat this with bread alone and mm -hmm. like to eat this with bread alone. Okay. This can be, oh, they both can be used in sandwiches. That's okay. I'm going to in English, but I can't understand the word I'm going to say. This. Stand up, show me what it is. It's also called liver. Ha, liver. Mm -hmm. Most of them look at me, I'm eating, you know. Yeah, yeah, sure, you know, I can eat that. This is, uh, this is pigeons. Mm -hmm. Here in Egypt, we eat pigeons. Yeah. Stuffed with rice. That looks amazing, actually, huh? This, I, this is, the tradition is that you eat this pigeon. Yeah. With bare hands. Yeah, let's do it. And uh, make um, a mess of yourself. Let's do it. Okay, now, I was going to give you the... Uh, no, let's let's try something. Oh, Molochia, because because she doesn't. Because you don't eat bread, I will not give you this because this you should eat it with bread. Ah, actually, I'm okay. eating bread, but just the gluten-free one. Yalla. Yalla. Hamam. Yalla, hamam. So we are doing it together, right? Oh, this is so sweet. Look at this. It's hanging here. Oh, it's very small. Yeah, but it's sweet. Look it's very this. nice. Oh, it's cute, cute. Yeah, look at that. Mm, very cutey. Yeah. You don't okay. eat pigeons in so Germany, you, huh? You, huh? No pigeons in Germany? You eat pigeons in Germany? Pigeons? I don't know. I never... I never, never mind. Eat, never eat. eat. <laughs> yeah, okay. So we eat it like that? Oh, uh, oh, bossy. Show me. Bossy, you can make like this. And then like that. Oh. Bossy, look at the rice. Wow. With the, it's, uh, it's fr fried from the outside, so it should. Mmm. Mm. Wow. That's amazing. Mm. That's really good. You see? Mm hmm. And then you can eat the bones. But, um, usually. You're eating the bones? The professional people do Let's not eat anything from the pigeon. Okay, I want to be professional. Sometimes they eat the bones. If I'm here, I want to be professional. <laughs> and sometimes they leave some of the bones not trying to be chic. Oh, oh my God. This is pine leaves, <laughs> stuffed pine leaves. Mmm. Mm. I'll put you some. That's pine amazing. Leaves. I need to try this as well, here, this right? Yes, you can eat. But I'll give you things that you can eat my finger. Mm hmm. This is. Actually, do you know what? When I'm sitting at home in front of the TV, or lying in my bed, I'm eating like that. Of course. With my fingers, you know, I'm not a very good example for my daughter. Oh. She's always telling me, Mom, you are a little bit different than the other moms, a bit more chaotic. <laughs> 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 Everything like is a mess. Yeah. But only in the house, when you eat alone, you eat like this, and you don't eat like this. But it's so nice. It's full of passion, you know, when of you course. eat like that. 
It's Even like if appreciation. It's, yeah, it's appreciation. Ah, I love that. To the blessing of God, Mumbar is something very precious. Yeah. Mumbar. Mumbar. That's... Mmm. Mmm. What kind of... Um, there is yeah. inside pepper and salt, of course, and what else? Rice with some vegetables. Mm -hmm. But the taste they are is very interesting. Mm. Mm -hmm. And um, the spices are very interesting, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And the way of cooking, the degree of cooking. Oh. After it's finished, we fry it, deep fry. Mm -hmm. That's how it gets this beautiful color. Mm -hmm. In very Turkey, nice. bah, they don't try the bomombar. They eat it boiled. I find it very boring. I, I never, I don't know. You never tried. I love this. I know them. But eat, 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 uh, mm. eat with conscious. Mm -hmm. Eat, eat with, with will, with power. Yeah, of course. Don't feel I'm starving. Uh, mm. You know. This is the kersha we talked about, which is the part I don't know where, somewhere yeah. in the lamb. Oh, this is actually <laughs> spicy, huh? Mmm. Hey, now, the what pigeon. What is your favorite food? Everything. Everything. Mm. So you don't have anything like, mm. No. For I example, for me, spaghetti bolognese. Of course. Oh, I of can course. take a bath inside of it. Of course. Actually, of course. I'm eating the sauce with spaghetti, not mm. spaghetti with the sauce. Mm. Because I love a lot of sauce, you know? Mm. And cheese. And the spaghetti on top itself. Of, yeah. I eat any kind of pasta. Mm -hmm. I consider, yeah, I mean, appreciating food Oops. is some sort of Saying thanks to God for whatever He gave us. Bravo. Mm. I'm thinking the same way. No. But Allah, I'm not happy with all the foods. 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 I'm not happy with all the and usually when you get this bone out, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this bone. Oh, you mean the little one? This one, the double one, Keda. Oh, I know why I didn't become a doctor. I, I, I can't see which bone is which bone, you know? Oh. This you bone, <laughs> they call, my mm -hmm. mother used to say this bone is called Yadas. Yadas? Yadas, I don't know why, and she used to break it on the head like this. I don't know ah, why. Maybe for luck or something. Something. Or I don't maybe. know why, and usually the rice falls into my hair, but no problem. <laughs> <laughs> don't yeah. care. Yeah, don't care about that. Yeah. But the thing is, maybe for luck, or maybe to thank Something. to the animal. Mm, maybe. maybe it's you know. Yeah. A tradition thank you that somehow. we can eat you. You know, it's like giving some respect to the mm. animal as well. Huh? I want you to try. Oh, also. this is so nice. This is so nice. One mashi. Mashi. Yeah. نحن نايلنا الدنيا خالص ده ولا ألمانيا ولا تركيا ولا حاجة وضربونا بالنار. Oh, I think I have the bone in my mouth. I, right now. I prefer not to give you tame and full now. It will spoil the the taste of the hamam and harisud. يعني مش عايزة ديا فلو طعمية دلوقتي يعني أي بيعنا ضيع ال. Mmm. This is very interesting as well. Very nice. Hmm. Mm. Let me show you. Now you take the bread. Um... Just to show you. Yeah, yeah, sure. I want. I ask you to eat. Because mm -hmm. I know that you don't eat bread. I eat Usually, bread, but gluten-free bread. I know, but we, not, we didn't know that before. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I'm totally happy anyway, look at that. Mm. This molokhia, mm -hmm. you should eat it with a spoon. Eat it with a spoon. Yeah, but, but, but you're eating a it with a is, bread, right? Mm. Yeah, and a spoon makes it um, Look more delicate. Mm. Yeah, we don't want that. We want to make this like the ear of a cat. We call it the ear of a cat. Ah, that's sweet. And we make like this. Can I do it with this? Just to have a taste? Uh, try it with the spoon alone. Or like this? With this mm. together? No, mm. try. Yeah. This is not the e uh, ear of a cat. This is the ear of a cow, but... <laughs> the ear of a cat. <laughs> This is the ear of a cow. Ear of a cow, <laughs> ear of a cow, that I allow it. 
How do you feel? Mm. I think mm. that you will not be leaving. I can imagine it with bread. Mm. I can imagine mm. it. You can also add rice to it, white rice. Yeah. You can also add some salad to it and eat it with salad. Mm -hmm. Eat it with salad and rice. Yeah. Eat it with rice and chicken or pigeons this or whatever. This is amazing. It, use your spoon. Yeah. Where is your spoon? Uh, Here. I look at that. I look at that. I told Amazing. You. Oh, there is, there is a very nice oil inside of it. Yeah. It's my, it's my new... It's, it's very hydratizing my, my lips right now. <laughs> very nice. Mm, mm. Very nice. Mmm. Mmm. Amazing. Okay. Mm. I want you also to mm -hmm. try to use this, as I told you, the, the feet also of the... Also with a spoon, right? Mm. Of course. But with a spoon. Oh. Take care, boss. Mm-hmm. وعايزة أحط لك شوية فتة. Oh, this is amazing. Do you know I was starving حبيبتي. when I was coming here. Mm. And then of course you need to be professional because you are doing an interview, right? Oh. You can't say in the first sentence, oh my god, I'm starving. Hi, nice to meet you, you know? تقول لي أنا كنت هموت من الجوع. You know, look, everything, everything came like it needs to be. Now the food is here and I'm the most happy the most happiest person on earth, person on earth right now. Now, this because food is happiness, you know. Yes, taba. It's food happiness. And happiness and and blessing. The, the serotonin in my brain is jumping right now. This fatta. This is uh, the food of. Um... Do you know what's interesting right now? Sorry to interrupt you, but do you know what's interesting right now? What inside? So many spices, mm. and this is very, you know, you know, the taste is very huge. Mm. This is more light, like there is not, and I can't. You can't find uh, spices in it. No, I can't find. I can't find any taste, anything right now. La, the 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 the, the, the kawara is, pick the pieces of because kawara. after this, oh, everything in my mouth is right this, right now this, you know. <laughs> I'll make you kawara a, a separately. Sometime later. Yeah, because but I, I tried I, it again. I wouldn't like that you don't appreciate Very kawara. nice, very nice. I now, appreciate it by now. This fatta is every every يعني, country mm -hmm. has some kind of food mm -hmm. for person who, who who is not very rich and he needs to be filled now. And uh, all the people in the whole world mm -hmm. are, are always finding something that would fill and less sure, sure. less. Um, Sure. Expensive. So of this is bread, so I will not let you eat it. Yeah. But uh, I just wanted to show you the inside. We put the bread, we, we soak it in soup, mm -hmm. and then we put the rice on top, mm -hmm. and then we add this fried garlic in, um, in oil, add it to sauce, uh, tomato paste, and add it to vinegar. That's what gives it all, yeah, the same kind of, school, kind of. Uh, of mm -hmm. this. I can try it with... Um, Gluten-free bread. If I you would write it, it down to me, yeah. how can I make it? I can know? write down all the recipes. Perfect. I had to blah all the recipes. Because I'm sure you can't eat all the recipes because it's gluten-free. Because I can taste it with gluten-free bread. Yeah, because I, I have at home. So one. I just wanted to show you the inside. Mm -hmm. Now, what else are you eating? You stopped eating. Yeah, because we talked. Oh my no, God! I'm not yeah, talking. sorry. I'm, not I'm just. I'm continuing. I'm oh my God! Don't fight sorry. now. You sorry. know, I'm happy. هتقول لي طلعتي روحي هتقعدي تكلميني مش عارفه اكل. لا انا عايزاها تاكل. Let's not fight when we are happy. Let's fight after the food. بس the way you, you, want. No. you eat is giving me <laughs> happiness inside my heart. Seeing you eat, watching I'm you eat. I'm so happy. You made me really happy. Really? Really. حبيبتي. 100%. حبيبتي. 100%. Come more often. Yeah. We Actually I want to. Mm. Because you know. The first time, actually, do you want, I, I, I will tell you a secret. Mm. I want to move to an Arabic country. Really? And I'm 100% sure. Okay. This is, is not like, oh, I, I'm dreaming about it. No, mm. I'm 100% sure. Cairo, Beirut, Dubai, mm. I don't know yet. But I know it will happen 2019. Mm. Because now, um, as you know, I'm living in Germany. Oh. Mm. And um, I want to try it, you know. I want to 
we'll come to that, and I think I know why do you want to do that. So we'll come to it later. Yeah. Now, now let's just eat. My mission is to stuff you. <laughs> okay. No more mission. Then I'll shake you after the work. Yeah. It it uh, it works. It works very well. Okay. La. <sighs> no. What? Really? No, don't tell me that you're full. I'm so full. No. I'm really full, but my dress is full. <laughs> <laughs> my dress oh, is full. No, no, I'm not going to be a little bit. I'm not going to be a little bit. If you come to Where's me, I'll give my you a nice suit. No, I'll give you a galabia. Yeah, please. Not now, but please. If you have something, I would wear it, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice also to do that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm. Yeah. I don't care. Of course, why? You should. Because I'm like you when I'm alone or when I'm at my ease. Yeah, uh, it's, I, you know, I love it if you are, some, for example, sometimes my computer in front of me and then all the food around me in the bed mm. and then watching some Netflix, you know. Mm. This is, this is beautiful. Heaven. It's heaven. This is heaven. Mm. This is giving me power. Mm. This is giving me strength. This is giving me hope. This is giving me everything. I told you, I'm going to go to the house. 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 Mm. I have a problem with numbers. Uh -huh. Like, if you would give me a phone number, mm. and I, I, it's not possible for me to memorize it. Not possible for me to memorize any number. Something in my brain is wrong. Mm. All the emotions, no problem. Mm. Uh, memorizing lines, no problem. But numbers or mm. Mm. Um, names, oh. if I'm not in a personal contact with, with oh. a person, oh. Oh. I can't remember. But there is one beautiful song. I have it on my phone. I will show it in the in the break. Mm. Oh, I love it. Egyptian or Arabic? Arabic, yeah. I don't mm. know. But I love to listen to music Arabic a little bit. But I listen to it a lot. Very nice. The characters are very good in the numbers and the names. Only if I'm the person who I'm talking about, he knows me personally. So she has songs that want to listen to. I don't know. I don't know how to say them. So which song do you remember the lyrics, for example, or the 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 or
فول اه Like بتقول لي عايزه البس بيجامه بقى like, yeah. wear بيجامه now yes 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 I, I ordered one because this is not you know it's it's really oh. actually yesterday when I was eating a lot of chocolate in the hotel <laughs> I had this uh, skirt and I was opening all the What? <laughs> all the <laughs> it's not possible because the zipper is in the back mm. and even if I'm opening it now mm. it's not helping here <laughs> <laughs> the problem is here. It's not in the bag. <laughs> Look, I'm yeah, whatever. I'm free. Yeah, or I can do it like that. <laughs> oh, now it's, la, la, oh, the situation okay. before was was better. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to look good Bye. now. Hey, mm, hi. Beautiful, yeah. Oh, thank very you. Sympathetic. Thank you, no problem. Yeah, yeah, I know. I have I no understand. problem at all right now. <laughs> Listen, now yeah. I want to tell you, uh, I want to ask you about some things that really concern us. Okay. Is that uh, the shooting of Harim al-Sultan, mm -hmm. a very, very huge piece of art. Long time, too many series, uh, many, many uh, stars, that mm -hmm. are being now very well known to all the Arab world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, there are so many questions that people are very interested to know. Go for it. Like, for example, mm -hmm. the crew. The crew, yeah. Who were the crew? Uh, who, who was the closest people from the crew to yourself? And yeah, the ones that you made friendship with? Yeah, yeah. First of all, it was, of course, Halid. Uh, he played the Sultan Suleiman. Ayuwa. And then it was Salma. She's also from Germany. Mm like me, um, she played Hatice Sultan, the sister of the Sultan Suleiman. Oh, uh, okay. His sister. Oh, uh, uh. Then uh, there was um, um, Selim, uh, he played uh, Sumbula. Mm. He, was, he was the one uh, in the harem who was mm. always whispering something to, to Uyam and helping her out and mm. Uh, mm. Um, with him as well. And then Okan, Okan Yalabik, amazing actor, amazing mm. actor. He mm. played Ibrahim. Mm. Mm. And uh, then Mahi Devran, she, uh, um, Noor, Noor Fetaolu, she played Mahi Devran, the, the first wife of the that Sultan. That is uh, Suleiman's first they wife. Were not, they were not married, but um, mm. the, the, the mother of um, mm. um, his first son. Um, yeah, and of course, Ozan, Ozan mm. Güven. He played uh, Rustem. Mm. Rustem. Uh, Rustem. Uh. Rustem, yeah. Mm. This is Ozan, you know. Oh, I love him a lot. I love him a lot. Mm. What a I, great person. What an, he's so artful. He's so deep. He was actually writing um, a cinema movie I was playing in mm. as a scriptwriter, and he mm. was always uh, also playing in it. Mm. Uh, My Mother's Wound, the, the, the film we were shooting in Serbia. Mm. Um, what a great guy. Mm. So you so had a bunch funny. of very nice friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that yeah. you were all uh, new to you. You never of knew course, them before. Of course, of course. I, I didn't even know what left and right meant in Turkish. Oh. You know, it was, it was, um, my Turkish was not existing. Mm. And I can remember, like, after my first shooting days, I was sitting in the car with all the colleagues mm. and they were laughing about some jokes and oh, <laughs> and I was like <laughs> 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 because I didn't understand, you know, uh -huh. not at all. Uh -huh. And then I said to myself, I want to learn this la language and mm. one day I will laugh about that jokes as well. Mm. Because if you can joke in a language, mm. then, then you, you are know, uh, then you know the language. Yeah, you know the neighborhood. Even if of it's the not even if it's not perfect, but if you can joke in a language, mm. then it's okay. Then Sah. it's fine. Sah. And I was so I was so frustrated in the mm. first weeks and months because I didn't understand anything. It mm. was so I, I was like Turkish is so difficult. How can I learn that language? Usually people find it very difficult unless until they are inside the, the yeah. location or the country or the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and they start if, you are, if, you, if you have to memorize mm. a script every week, then uh, of course it helps uh, because you need uh, to memorize the lines. Uh, then you are uh, always um, listening to Turkish radio, TV, the people in your surrounding uh, mm. are speaking in Turkish. So it was, it was, um, it was more easy than learning it at home, of course, in, in, in of Germany. Course, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. Okay, I asked her, of course, about her relationship with her friends. She remembered a lot of the friends who played in the series. 
وبعدين قالت لي انه لما بقوا اصدقاء قوي كانت هي ما بتتكلمش يعني ما بتعرفش اليمين من الشمال في التركي لكن كونها وسطهم هم بيهزروا وبيضحكوا هي قاعده مش فاهمه ولا كلمه فاخذت قرار انها تتعلم وبالتالي حتى الحوار وهي بتذاكره ساعدها كتير وانه هي بتقول حاجه لطيفه قوي انك ما دام ابتديت تهزر بلغه يبقى انت مسكت نواصي اللغه يعني عرفت فيها حتى لو ما انتش بيرفكت لكن عرفت الحتت اللي ايه بتقدر تهزر منها وده الكومن بتاع الناس اللي بتتكلم بيه كل يوم ذا شوتينج اورز ذا رولز اوف شوتينج ان تركي Do they have like a system uh, when they give you uh, or they allow a certain number of hours only to shoot and then afterwards you are uh, overpaid or uh, talk to me about the, the, the system of shooting? You know, um, I can just talk about my experience, of course. Oh. I don't know how it is in different projects or mm. whatever. If we are talking about uh, Harim and Sultan, mm. um, We worked actually a lot, of course, you mm. know, because um, um, one episode is, was like 120 minutes. Mm. It's, it's much, Sorry. it's longer than a cinema movie, oh, you know? Oh. So um, we worked a lot. Uh, this is what I can say. And um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you can Watch extend <laughs> the order to, to 15, 16, 18 hours or there, where there is... Uh, It comes a time when you have to stop. This is the, the, the legitimate hours of working. I don't know how it is now with the series because mm. um, I'm more shooting cinema movies. Mm. <laughs> There is something there. Somebody uh, wants some... to have some food. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hungry as well. Mm. Uh, the thing is that, um, you know, um, at that time, um, I don't remember any rule about that. Mm. I don't know. So you are like us. Sometimes we extend the... The order to 21, 22 hours non-stop sure, yeah, work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, طيب, there's something else that I want to ask about. Maybe you're not yeah. very much aware of, but you will tell me what you know. Mm-hmm. يا طبعا سألتها على قوانين العمل فاتضح إن هي من ناحيتها كغريبة عن البلد ما تعرفش القوانين قوي. لكن كانوا بيشتغلوا ساعات طويلة سنس إن هم أو طالما كانت الحلقة 120 دقيقة الحلقة عندهم بمقام فيلم طويل شوية عندنا وبالتالي كان عندهم ساعات تصوير طويلة قوي. What I want to ask you about is mm-hmm. the monumental places where the scenes have taken place. Mm-hmm. Like, for example, the uh, Palace of Suleiman. The Top Kappa Palace, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, is, what is it called? Top Kappa. Top Kappa. Top Kappa. Top Kappa Palace. Sarai. 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 Top Kappa Sarai. Yeah, Top Kappa Sarai. This is an, a, a monumental place in the. In, the, uh, yeah, in before Istanbul. Before shooting yeah. in Istanbul. Yeah. Very historical place, yeah. <laughs> And all the other places, I mean, you shot some, uh, some scenes in, in the garden, Sultan's gardens, garden, mosques, uh, other uh, palaces, exactly, other, exactly. other uh, old uh, districts mm-hmm. where, where the old streets and yeah, things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know that uh, afterwards, uh, the rate of tourism has gone high as economically. Mm-hmm. It went very high because people were very, all of a sudden very much interested to see those, see, uh, those sites, mm-hmm. go to visit. They were added to the menu of, of a tourist visiting oh, Istanbul. Oh, I didn't know that. That's wow. what we have uh, read and uh, maybe made sure of regarding the figures and numbers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The, the rate of, of uh, tourism has gone very high wow. related to uh, the places that people visit that were shot in such Harim mm-hmm. Sultan famous. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And also uh, we knew that, uh, you know, shooting outside in the exterior of a palace, of an mm-hmm. existing palace mm-hmm. in, the, in the city is one thing and shooting inside in the interior is another. So sometimes you shoot the exteriors mm-hmm. in, where, in the normal natural places mm-hmm. and then you build a setup Uh, copy paste to the interior of this exactly. palace. Exactly. The, the mm. producer, uh, Timur Safja, uh, this is the name of the producer from mm. Harim el Sultan, mm. he um, was building a studio complex, mm. huge, huge, like um, exactly like um, the real top cup of Sarai, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So some, um, as you said so well, some scenes we could um, shoot in the original place, mm. but mm. not inside of it, because as it's like a museum right now, yeah. you yeah. know? But um, sometimes outside or, um, for example, we used um, 
um, the garden of um, an embassy or something to shoot oh. the garden scenes. Oh. But uh, most of all, we were in the studio, like for seventy oh, percent in the in the in the studio because um, otherwise it wouldn't be possible, mm. you know. Yeah. And he he built he built it very very close to the to the original one. Yeah, technically this is the right thing to do yeah. is to have a tip a, 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 a typical um, uh, copy. Of yeah. the interior end shoot because yeah. you need to have angles and you need to hang lights and so of on. Of course, the cameras, but everything. But then later on, the sets inside the studios were also dealt with as monuma monumental, as as, uh, as as museums. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. The people came yeah. and visited the, the studio and everything. I can remember that. Oh, yeah. And they turned the interior. Uh, yeah. Sometimes other uh, series shot in the same uh, decor. Ah, okay. And, I, I don't know. Uh, this we read about, mm -hmm. and uh, and the, also this place was also added to the uh, list of places that tourists ah, will visit. Yeah. Wow. Because it was related to Harim al Sultan. Ah, I was gone at that time because mm. I I left after the third oh. season. Yeah. Because I was pregnant, so. Mm. So I, I don't know what they did um, after after and the, even the series stopped. afterwards they made like a wax museum from the characters. I know in Dubai. Oh. Mm. I know in this in the city walk uh, mm. thing mm. that was weird. Mm. Yeah, you know because what I mean. Because it was that tells you how famous it was. Yeah, and that tells you one one like you mm. one star like you the impact on on the people on in the Arab world. But that's why when you go anywhere you are met with so much. Uh, uh, happiness and joy because you're already very well known. اللي انا عايزه اساله سالتها عليه ودي حاجه تهمنا احنا جدا انه المسلسل زي حريم السلطان ده لما اشتهر طبعا كان بيصور في اماكن ليها تاريخ القصر نفسه بتاع السلطان سليمان او او الاماكن اللي حواليه او يمكن جامع جنينه حاجات من الاماكن الاثريه اللي كانت موجوده واضيفت هذه الاماكن للقائمه اللي بتتحضر للسواح عشان يروحوا يزوروها فبقى في نوع من الدخل الاقتصادي للتركيا من من الاماكن اللي بتبان في المسلسلات اللي بتشتهر في المسلسلات اللي الناس بتعرف عنها من المسلسلات وكمان لما كانوا بيصوروا في الخارجي ياخدوا القصر من بره تمام لكن من جوه صعب جدا يصوروا لانه اكتر عيب بيبان في القصور والحاجات التاريخيه دي من جوه هو الايكو الصوت مش مش مظبوط فبيقوموا بانيين ديكور بالظبط كوبي من الاصل ويصوروا فيه وبعد كده يتحول هذا الديكور نفسه الى مزار سياحي. بعد كده كمان بعد ما حريم السلطان خلص اتعمل له متحف شمع في دبي بالشخصيات وازيائها والكوستيومز وكل حاجه للشخصيات بتاعت حريم السلطان في دبي. انا بس بتك على الحته دي لان ده موضوع احنا يعني مهم قوي بالنسبه لنا لاننا احنا لسه ما دوسناش في التاريخ بتاعنا في الدراما. بشكل جيد ولسه ما استعملناش اماكننا السياحيه بشكل جيد ولسه ما ما خدمناش على السياحه من اعمال ناجحه جدا دراميا زي حريم السلطان واحنا نقدر ونستطيع ولا نعجز وده واجبنا اننا نعمل كده دلوقتي قبل بكره فدي حته مهمه قوي لانه دخل السياحه في تركيا زاد من حريم السلطان وحاجات تانية من اللي كان فيها جدع العشق الممنوع ده والواد الحليوه ده والح... كل الحاجات دي عملت تاثير رهيب جدا على السياحه في تركيا فاهمانين احنا ولا مش فاهمانين ذس از ساتش ا نايس لانجويج ارابيك يو نو اتس لايك ويل اتس ا بيت ا بيت سيميلر تو ذا تركيش اف يو ليسن If you listen to the, I'm not objective anymore when oh. I'm listening to Tur the Turkish language because now 
after years, I understand Turkish. Ah, I know. And I then can't there remember is... the days when I didn't understand anything. Oh. You know? Mm. And for now, I'm not objective anymore mm. if I'm listening to the language, you know? Mm -hmm. But if I'm listening to you, I can't understand anything. Mm. So I'm just... Yeah, but see, if you if you focus a little bit, you'll find so many words yeah, are similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. <coughs> Very many similar. Yeah, yeah. Kamana, there is. I think there is a law that uh, in all the drama shot or produced in Turkey, uh, there is a law that ten percent of this drama altogether has to be shot in the monumental places and the touristic places in Turkey. They, uh -huh. It became a law so that they promote more their tourism and and this happens to I all have other no countries idea about that. any country that has uh, his, history and monumental places yeah. and sites mm -hmm. they care very much to shoot all the places that uh, interesting yeah i didn't know that are attracting the tourism yeah 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 Makes sense, actually, well. Huh? Yeah. I didn't know that. Mm. Yeah. That, this is what we are, we have no, been uh, studying this for some time. <laughs> My food. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, I will never forget that uh, because everybody was laughing, of course, me as well. But it, actually, uh, it's and sad. you couldn't breathe and you couldn't say no. the sentences. Right yeah, or... it was it was it was a horrible day, mm. and I I recognized that I exaggerated with food with everything, and you know it was everything was a disaster, and I I had the pressure to lose weight and oh. I couldn't do it, and you know I was like in the hotel we were <laughs> crying. <laughs> now I can laugh about it. Now I can laugh about it. At that time I, I uh, couldn't laugh about it yeah. at all. But um, that was a disaster. بتقول لي إنه من الذكريات اللي ما تتنسيش في المسلسل إنه هي كانت بقى بتاكل بتلغ طول النهار وعمالة تدخن ومبطلة سجاير وتاكل حلويات ف والدور فيه أعاد يعني ما فيش حركة عمالة تقول أوامر زي ما هي عملت كده فالمنتج راح فصل لها فستان أخضر في أحد المشاهد صغير عشان يعني تحس على دمها وتبطل تاكل فلما لبست الفستان حست بقى إن هي لازم تخس وانه الفستان كانت بيتفزر عليها وهي قاعده فهي دلوقتي بتضحك على الذكرى دي لكن ساعتها كانت يعني محرجه جدا من الموقف ده. Beautiful Maryam. Oh, thank you. you. Have you been to any Arab country? Of course. Okay, I can tell you where I was. Uh, okay? Mm. Till now. I was in Dubai. Mm -hmm. I was in uh, Qatar. Mm. I was in Saudi Arabia. Mm. I was in Egypt now. Yeah, Egypt. <laughs> and Awara. Beirut. Beirut. Yeah. What? It was beautiful. In Beirut? Yeah. Uh, it's usually, usually beautiful Very nice. in Beirut. Very but nice. So, did you feel really the, the love of people and did you feel that you are considered one of the family because they got used to you that much? Yeah, the thing is, you know, um, I told you before that we were shooting in the studio like 70-75%. Oh. Actually, because the thing is, the harem, the mm. harem mm. was um, in the studio. Mm. So most of my scenes were in the studio. Mm. So actually it was like sometimes I felt myself like Big Brother is watching you, a container, you know. Mm. From the morning till the night I'm in this container. Oh. And you are not... You are, uh, I didn't um, have any social life at that mm. time. Mm. So I was working, working, working. The third season was actually much more easy. Mm. I was, I had my social life at mm. that time. But the first two seasons, the mm. first two years, studio hotel, studio hotel. So I just heard that everybody's watching the series, but oh. I was not aware of it mm. because I was always working, working, working mm. or memorizing my lines or sleeping. Mm. And it was like all day long, all night long. Mm. And you know, it was for two years, it was like that. Mm. So after, after the first two years, I recognized a bit more what's going on in the reality. Oh. Because as I was living in this container oh, oh. Uh, for years, mm. it, it, I had not this contact, you, you, you know, were, to you the were outside surprised. world. You were surprised, you were shocked from how no, you are known like, and famous. No, actually I was like, yeah. Oh, very thankful that you know i was i was um acting in the theater for 10 years sometimes five people sitting in front of you no, sometimes, sometimes 500 yes exactly. yeah okay mm. you know if, even if there are just five people there you appreciate you it and you double. play for them okay. and if there are 500 people you play for them um so um for me it's like it i was just thankful in turkey you mean Hmm? When you went out of the containers in Turkey, and yeah, then you started... a lot of paparazzi, of course. Of course. The, and 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 people, but you know, the paparazzi is doing their job, oh. even if they are writing something very, you know, mm. crazy stuff. Mm. Mm. Okay, but they have a family; they mm. need to feed their family. They, it's their job, you know. Mm. It's okay. Mm. Um, but but in the Arab countries. Mm -hmm. Where you stand by. The... But at that time, I was not visiting the countries. Yeah, but because, when you came, unless ah, you are famous now. Ah, yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. But um, it's like it's like you know. I know they love the show. I know they love the character. Mm. They love the character, um, as I can understand, a very powerful character. Mm. Mm. Maybe in twenty years, as an actress, you play once the character like that, mm. because if you are looking to the at the scripts for women, such a powerful character like that mm. is not written so often. Oh, exactly. Okay, of course, this is, is, um, is a mm -hmm. historical TV show, mm -hmm. and this this is a real character. What a pleasure and what mm -hmm. a gift! And oh my God, I'm I was delighted to 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 mm -hmm. give her my soul mm -hmm. and to um, recreate her soul. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll translate. I'll translate. Yeah. 
حسيتي بحجم الشهرة لما زارت بلاد عربية زي دبي وزي السعودية وبيروت وكده ف... فبتحكي لي انه هي قعدت اول اتنين سيزون في المسلسل ده بتصور جوه الاستوديو والاستوديو عبارة عن كونتينر يعني علبة كده بي... يا في الاستوديو يا في البتاع العربية اللي هي بتغير فيها دي فمش شايفة الدنيا ومش عارفة المجتمع بيحصل فيه ايه لكن فعلا لما خرجت بره بعد اتنين سيزون ابتدت تحس ان هي معروفه وانه اول طبعا صدام كان بينها وبين او يعني لقاء بينها وبين الباباراتسي اللي هم الصحفيين المصورين الفوتوغرافيا اللي بيخشوا في مناخير الواحد دول ف وقالت بتقولي ان ده شغلهم اه صحيح بيبيت يعني بيتطفلوا على حياه الواحد وحياته وعيلته ومش عارف ايه لكن في الاخر ده شغلهم لكن هي حست طبعا بالشهره دي في العالم العربي لانه آه الشخصيه كمان عظيمه الشخصيه قويه جدا وقليل لما بيتكتب كاركتر زي ده الممثله يعني برضو زي عندنا زي ما كنت بقول برضو عندنا نفس الحكايه انه مش دايما سهل ان ممثله تلاقي شخصيه مكتوبه بالقوه دي وبالتاثير الدرامي العنيف ده <تصفيق> ممكن اي عمل درامي او فني عموما يعمل جلبه كده حبه تساؤلات شويه انتقادات اعجاب بزياده او حتى كره وغضب بزياده برضو حريم السلطان غير شويتين في سياسه ردود الافعال دي الاعجاب كان بجنون لدرجه ان الناس بقت تتوافد بالملايين عشان تشوف اماكن التصوير والاحداث واهتمام مجنون بكل تفاصيل اللبس والشعر والمكياج اللي تحولوا الموضه في الدول اللي عرضت المسلسل ده لا ومش كده وبس ده الابطال كمان بقوا ايقونات رول مودلز الكل في اكتر من 40 دوله اتعرض فيهم المسلسل بيدوروا ورا اخبارهم وحياتهم واعمالهم لدرجه انهم بقوا اشهر من الشخصيات التاريخيه اللي مثلوها ردود الافعال الغير مسبوقه دي بتاكد حقيقه ان العمل ناجح ناجح بكل المقاييس ناجح لدرجه قلب موازين الدراما والتوزيع والانتاج مش في بلده بس لا ده في العالم اجمع Have you read the real story, the original story, the historical one? Of course, I had to. I had to uh. because when I was um, when I was going to the audition, I had no idea who's who I am, who's mm. Sultan Suleiman. Uh, I didn't know anything about the Ottoman mm. Empire. I guess uh, I was sleeping in the German school, or mm. maybe they didn't t- talk about it. Or mm. I guess I was sleeping at that point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the reality. I was yeah, not very that, uh, concentrated but... in school. Let's say it like that, but. Uh. You know? like many people said that the the the, the story that was mm. the script did not uh, it was not like the the, the historical events mm-hmm. it was not real this is not what happened in real li- life in the history and people were opposing and opposing this uh, um, mm. uh, this uh, series and they they asked uh, the parliament to stop airing the series mm. because they're not similar to the truth and th- you, you don't know this uh, impact. no you know i'm just an actress Oh. This is very important to say. I'm not the script writer, I'm not the producer. Mm. There is a project coming, I'm memorizing my lines, mm. I'm going to the set, I'm giving you my emotions, and then I go home. Oh, Basta. professional. Basta. <laughs> Tom, how did you start? By, take me from the beginning, Keda, quickly, to mm-hmm. how did you, as you said, you were started at five years old, you wanted to... Oh, the thing is, I was going to an um, artful kindergarten, an artful mm. school, it's a very... Um, It's um, the kindergarten is the same system like the school later on. Oh. So the system is about um, is about supporting your individual talents. Mm. And the school has an own theater inside of the school, mm. and um, you are um, doing your own clothes. Mm. You are um, doing your own food. You are um, painting. You are singing. You are you have to play one instrument. Mm. Um, I chose the violin. Mm. 
I was not very talented in that. Mm. Um, and uh, then you have acting classes since you are very, very little kid. Mm. And also the, the, the father of one of my best friends, um, he was owning a theater mm. in my hometown in Kassel. It's mm. um, near to Frankfurt, Germany, mm. where I was growing up. And it's, it's a 200,000 population. Mm. Little, the whole little, city. Yeah, a little mm. town. And um, he owned this uh, theater and I was playing a tree sometimes or a little cat or mm. <laughs> the kid of somebody who mm. has one sentence to say. So mm. actually with this kindergarten system and with the school system, I, I was um, growing up like um, in this theater mm. acting mm. Um, flair. Atmosphere. Of course, one of my best friends, I know him since I'm seven. We were going to the same school. He's a very, very t um, successful painter now in Germany. Mm, mm. So everybody who, who's um, going to this school is doing something arty. Mm. Okay, of course, sometimes a doctor is coming out of that, but um, very rarely. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> because, you know, and mathematics, forget about it. Mm. Of course, you learn everything like a normal school. Oh. But the... But the but the main things are painting, singing, arts, acting, arts. In general. arts mm. Yeah. Mm. So that's how until you finished uh, university or you were you studied drama yeah, in yeah, the university yeah, yeah, yeah. in where Hamburg or where in Hamburg in oh. Hamburg. I um. was I was growing up in Kassel near to Frankfurt, mm. two hundred thousand population, little little town. Mm. Mm. And when I was um, when I was um, finished with school, I went to Hamburg. Mm. And I did my ed acting education and I lived there for some years. Mm. And then I went to Berlin mm. as um, there were more job opportunities uh, mm. like theaters, um, casting agencies. No cinema? Um, in in, in uh, Deutschland, in Germany, no cinema? Of course, of course. Cinema. At, of this, course. at this uh, stage? At this era, at this time, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. But um, little characters like um, oh. supporting supporting acts, oh. this, that, more theater. Um, and then from Berlin to Istanbul, mm. after I um, succeeded the four days audition. <laughs> yeah. I now know that you are starting a new line in fashion and makeup. No. What? No, I have nothing to do with fashion mm. till now. <laughs> what? Makeup? No. I, I, I did um, a limited edition mm. for, uh, I did a made makeup box, but it was a limited edition. Mm. So... Um, what do you mean limited edition? What did you do like, in the makeup? Um, there, was, there was just a box like everything for the eyes, oh. you know? And uh, it was a limited edition, like just once. What did you, uh, did you uh, the manufacture? The mascara. The, yeah, the, yeah, I went to Italy. The material itself, And huh? this, yeah, yeah, sure, I chose everything by myself. Mm. And um, there are still some boxes available, but I don't know where actually right mm. now. Because but it was a limited edition. are you promoting edition. this? Are you starting it as a business? No, it was, but it was in the past, not now. Not now, no, not no, no, anymore. No, no, it was just a limited edition oh. for fun, yeah. Okay. So, I want to talk to you about your daughter. Oh, Lara. How, what about your, your private life? Do you have somebody in your life now? Like a man or yeah, a boyfriend? Or no, a no, man. I'm single. No! <laughs> yes. Really? Yeah. Haram! <laughs> Why you are single? <laughs> <laughs> then you have, you are, you are all alone now, giving all the attention to your daughter. Yes, Tell but... Me about um, 
Of course, if the right guy is showing up, uh, I will not be single anymore, I of guess. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, now nobody's in my life, no. Mm. So all the time is for the baby or for, for the little Working, girl. friends, family, mm. of course, first place, my daughter. Mm. So, um, yeah, Lara, she's, she's my biggest love. Mm. Uh, she was the biggest surprise in my life. And What? thanks God that uh, she came into my life. Mm. And um, yeah. Why do you say biggest surprise? You weren't planning for having a baby at no, the time? No, 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 no. Mm. No, it was not a plan. It mm. was it was a gift from God. Oh. I'm seeing it like that. But that's why when you left uh, Halim al Sultan uh, yeah, I was after pregnant. three seasons, yes. Yeah. And the, the, by the time you left Halim al Harim al Sultan, uh, the scene of uh, King Suleiman killing his son Mustafa was very, very yeah, yeah. Um, shocking to everybody, and mm. they were so sad for mm. him. And it was like an event, a sad event all over. Mm -hmm. Did you see it at the time of airing this uh, episode? No, because after I um, I need, needed to leave the, the series because I was pregnant. That's what and uh, this when and you that. disappeared because you had. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. And mm. um, the thing is, after I, I was not able to watch it anymore mm. because you know if you are creating a character mm. from the first day on and you are living this character mm. three years and you are sweating for that character and crying mm. for that character and mm. screaming for that character um, then it was not able I was not able to do that maybe you some couldn't other see actors. somebody else playing the role No, I uh, couldn't see anything of that series oh, anymore. Oh, you don't want to see the whole thing. Yeah, because, mm -hmm. you know, of course I would, I, I would um, you know, I was like, oh, I want to see my colleagues, I want to see the new actress, of course, my, mm -hmm. my biggest respect. And, you know, but I was not able from my heart to mm -hmm. handle it mm -hmm. in an emotional kind of term. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, He, that was I, I gave her my breath from the first mm. day on, and I, mm. I, I, I lived for her mm. 24 hours. I was not Maryam anymore. I was oh. her for oh. three oh. years, oh. Oh. you know. And I, I gave, I gave everything to her, everything. Taib, now, so I was not able to. Yeah, watch but it now moving to another phase in life, I sense that you plan or thinking of planning to come and live in the neighborhood, either Egypt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, mm. Ah, now I got it. Mm. <laughs> ding ling ling Wallah. Yeah. yeah, you know, this is, this is what I, I really, I really, I'm really sure that I will do that. Mm. You know, I decided to uh, move to an Arabic country mm. um, next year, 2019. Mm. Like, It can be Cairo, Beirut, Dubai, I don't mm. know yet. Mm. But um, this is a big dream since years actually, mm. because I'm traveling a lot um, to the Arabic countries since years. And um, yeah, I wanna, I wanna do that, I mm. wanna do that. Because With I no feel it all the time, mm. you know, when I'm in Beirut or when I'm in Dubai or somewhere else in another Arabic country and now mm. the first time. I'm exploring Egypt and mm. um, Cairo. You know, there's something, like I can't describe it, the voice, voice inside of myself mm. that I need to come at least for some month. You mm. know, I don't know why. Uh, this is I our need charm. to listen. We are charming. Yeah, no you're not, oh my we God. Are, are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course we you are. Charming. Of course you we are. are. We are. And it's not about, not, it's not just about that. Of course you're charming. Of course the energy is different. There is something. Mm. And that's why, you know, I was in, I was in Dubai some, uh, actually some weeks ago. No, it was a week ago. Mm. Oh my God, I'm traveling so, so much that mm. I'm, that mm. I'm, yep, um, yeah. Yeah, sometimes I'm um, lose, uh, feeling losing place, my feeling yeah. about everything. Mm. So one week ago I was in Dubai and uh, somebody asked me about this, um, you know, Arabic energy, Arabic women, Arabic this, Arabic that. And I, I, I just can say that there is some mystical, mm. something mystical is going on and I can't describe it, you know. Mm. Mm. There is always something mystical mm. and it's like, like a magnet. Yes, and it's exactly. taking my hand and yes. like, come, Maryam, yes. come, come, Maryam. come, 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 yeah, and now I need to come because mm. I can feel that since years, mm. but I never listened to that voice, always, you know, always there or there or, um, for example, now, uh, you But know? weren't you uh, um, uh, offered any 
parts in the films going. Uh, I think I heard that uh, you were offered a part in uh, Thief of Baghdad film with yeah. Muhammad Imam, and you went visit Muhammad Imam. I met Muhammad him Imam. yesterday. I yeah. met him yesterday. Mm. What a beautiful soul. Mm. I didn't know him. And um, yesterday uh, we met the first time. Great energy, pure mm. heart. I mm. can say that from the first second. Mm. Um, pure heart, great energy, and uh, you know, it's, it's like he has something from an angel inside. Muhammad, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's something mm. from an angel. <laughs> and what I, what, I, um, what I like very much about him that he's a fighter. But are you going to act in this movie? The thing is, I'm ready. Mm. I'm ready to act in that movie. I, mm. I was reading the script, mm. fantastic. Mm. And um, I was watching yesterday from Mohammed um, an action scene. Oh my God, he's very talented. Who? who, who? <laughs> an action scene. And oh, Mohammed did an action, did, did scene. An action oh, scene. I was going to the set yesterday. Oh. But who? Who? Uh, who is the one who sent for you? Who is the one who nominated you for for the film? No, uh, there is um, my. I have an agent here oh. um, um, for the Middle East. Mm. Um, her name is Iman. Mm. Uh, so she she um, she brought me the script and oh. um, yeah now we met and inshallah it will happen. So there is I would, a possibility. I would right away take my plane from Germany to come here and mm. shoot it. Allah. The character inshallah. Let's see. I'm ready. Let's let's see if it uh, yeah. will happen. And do you think the, from the atmosphere you saw in those two days that you are willing to sit and practice your work from here or uh, and settle here in Cairo? Do you think so? Do you of have this course, feeling? Of course, why not? Of mm. course, why not? I can't mm. just say I can't just say that I have a feeling about the energy in general, like mm. Dubai, Beirut, mm. Cairo. Mm. I I can't describe this Arabic mystical feeling. You mm. know, I mm. have it here as well, mm. but I didn't decide yet where exactly. But that I will try for some months. 2019, that's for sure. Mm. That's for sure. You'll find a lot of, uh, of uh, mystic, as you say, ah, here and in I love Egypt. that feeling. Uh, I love that mystical feeling. This is something that feeling. goes in the rooms yes. of the and world. And I love that, I love that. Mm. You know, if I, if I feel this mystical feeling, it's like, it's like as I told you, a magnet, you know? Mm. It's like, Give ah. yourself more chance, yeah. stay a little mm. bit longer, go visit the sites here and the scenes and the beaches and it's although it's uh, winter now but there are so many places that yeah, are still very hot of you can course. enjoy the red sea the mediterranean the sands yeah. the deserts uh, the monuments here yeah, the history course. the pyramids the thing is mm. totally right and this is the plan but i need to go back to germany to my daughter because mm. she's waiting you know but next time for sure, three, four days, this is not enough. Okay, to... I'll wait for you. Uh, yeah. Bring her yeah. Oops, so that I can take care of her. <laughs> Still the food. Yeah, I'm coming oh, back. With, I come, I'm coming back with big trousers. Not Allah with this, not with this dress. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we would love to have you here. Um, thank you, thank you. You were such thank a you. blessing and a very, very lovely character and very full of life and full of love person that I enjoyed so much having you. Ah. But, oh. <laughs> My microphone. <laughs> ah, thank you so much. You are really most welcome. Can I welcome. sit next to you? Yes, please. I'm so far away. You will always be very, very, very welcome. Because now yeah. I'm getting emotional. Yeah. I need to, to, I am to emotional feel your, too. I need to feel your power. And we have our tissue here right mm. next to us. <laughs> please come back. Thank I will you be so waiting much. for you. I think all the audiences that are watching us now will be waiting for you. You're such a lovely person, very much like us. Your words are touching me. Thank you so much. Don't be late. A lot of mahshi is waiting. Why? What? What? what, what a is lot happening? of molukhiya is waiting. A lot of all the food we did is waiting. Yeah, but not now. Not yeah, now. Not now. I can't. Before before we end this uh, beautiful meeting, I would love you to say something to the Egyptians who have been following your work, who, have, who know every single uh, uh, episode that you did, who were very much anxious to see you. Of and course. And listen to you and everything. Of course. Hello, dear um, people out, out, uh, out there, sitting on the couch, watching this show. Thank you for having me here. I'm really, really touched very, very deeply from the bottom of my heart that you welcomed me with uh, such a big heart, with so much love. And uh, you can't, you can't imagine how thankful 
I am about that. I feel your warmth, I feel your love. And um, I'm so thankful that you liked my work in Huyam uh, Al Sultan. Huyam Al Sultan. Harim Al Sultan. Harim Al Sultan. Thank you so, so much. And I'm sending you all my love. And may God bless you all. And wherever you are sitting right now, if you are sad, hopefully you, you enjoyed the program and you laughed a bit with us. And if you are happy anyway, then hopefully we made you happy a bit more than you, are, you are, uh, already are. And I'm sending you all my kisses, all my hugs and all my love. Thank you for having me. Bye bye. Me too! Thank you. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you. We tried, we tried our best. Don't be very... <laughs> Thank you so much.